What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another, this will be the last of this TV, unboxing of this incredible LG OLED TV for 2020. Now guys, you've been with me for a while. Did the CX55, amazing, unbox that guy, put it on there, a little small, went to the 65, fantastic. Had an itch to try the, uh, the 8, 8K Samsung, QLED 800T, bust, gross, goodbye. And after doing some research, now that I know that I'm gonna stick with OLED, the GX has some features that would work really, really well for locking this down as the future-proof OLED 4K TV for a long time. Now that's gonna be AI voice recognition, next-gen ATSC 3.0 tuner built in and all the 2.1 gaming features you can possibly want. This TV has it all. But the GX is a, is a wallpaper TV. It's a gallery series. Now this one's meant to be wall mounted. So you have that super thin 20 millimeter gap. So it looks like a portrait. Kind of like Samsung's, uh, what do they call that series? The, the frame series or something like that. This is definitely better than the frame, I think. So this has a, an included mount inside. It's a no gap wall mount. Um, so you can attach the mount to the back of the TV and then attach it to your wall and keep it completely flush where the wires are routed inside the panel coming out. It's, it's beautiful, fantastic. But for me and in my computer stand, I have a center channel speaker and I wanted a TV. Well, I've always wanted a TV to have the feet on the very edge, on the edge, the feet, the, the stands. So that way I can elevate it just enough so it's floating over my center speaker. And that just means more screen with less extra bulk. So what I have is the desktop stand. This bad boy right here, I had to order in separately. It's a hundred bucks. But this includes the two feet to go on the bottom of this guy. And it has the, the back plates. Uh, the back covers to cover up the uh, the extra slots if you're not going to wall mount it. So that's that's key as well. So guys, you know the CX is an incredible TV. The A9 Gen 3 processor has elevated this TV to match up with this uh, Sony X1 Ultimate processor. Uh, but for me, in my situation, I want the best gaming TV. And that's going to be the CX uh, series and then GX, of course. You're gonna cover all the bases for gaming and next-gen consoles for PS5, Xbox Series X, FreeSync, ALLM, VRR, 2.1, 4K120. It's got it all, lowest input lag, OLED, individual pixels, 8.3 million, deepest blacks, best color. It's incredible, guys, you know the drill. So I'm very excited to get this unboxed for you guys. This is gonna be a permanent fixture in the Raft Cave. For me to get rid of this would probably be an 8K OLED or an 8K micro LED or some crazy pixel technology coming out. That's the only reason to get rid of this guy right here. All right, guys, let's get this unboxed. You might not see my face. Apologize, but this is an unboxing of this box, so you don't need to see me. All right. Now, I've <laughs> this has been sitting here for four days. I had to wait for that desktop stand to arrive, so finally got here. It's Monday. Let's get it. Finally, first strap off, second strap off. You know what time it is, guys? Black pin. Got to take the top part off because that holds uh, the remote control and some other fixtures, of course. I want to thank Best Buy for allowing me to Exchange the CX and upgrade. They are an amazing company. And I'm glad they're still around. And by the way, folks, I hope you're all safe and healthy and staying home. I know it's a hard time right now. I'm not gloating that I have this, but I hope I provide some information and enjoyment and entertainment for you to think about your next TV purchase right here or the CX. All right, guys, let's continue. Oh man, right away you get the, the wall mount bracket. Cool. 
Okay, take these two straps down, open this up. So this is your wall mount bracket. Now I'll put a picture up of what's inside here, but there's no reason for me to un un unbox this. So I won't be using it, um, but this will have everything you need to mount this TV on your wall right here. And of course, you're gonna have your standard LG Magic Remote with your IR blaster and some various uh, warranty and info booklets. And then we have the documents for taking the TV out of the box. On the back side is just how to put the remote control together and the various inputs in the back. All right, here we go. Nice. <laughs> so I'm reading the, uh, the styrofoam. It actually says GX65 and not C965, like the, uh, the C9 I had. So this is actually styrofoam that's built for this particular TV. <laughs> okay, we're lifting it up. Here we go. All right, let me get, the, get this box out of the way here. Gotta like that next gen TV symbol on the bottom there. I like that, it's the first. Front styrofoam here. Two sides. And the back. Let me feel this here. 20 millimeters thick here. That's because all the components are built into the back of the TV. It doesn't have that uh, bulk in the back, you know. All right, guys. There she is. Yes, and I do have the plastic film on the screen. Perfect. I see some air bubbles right here. Good. That's very good. On the back, uh, there is not the plastic film on the back. So I'm gonna try to avoid putting fingerprints on the back of this uh, screen because I'll be seeing it right there on the table. Well, this is cool looking guys. This is, uh, this is cool. I'll, I'll show the back to you when I lay it on the table. So, uh, all right guys, I'm gonna get this lifted up and put on the uh, table in the other room and then uh, we'll continue uh, putting it together. All right, be right back. All right guys, now let's unbox the desktop stand, the additional accessory to go with the GX if you wanna put it on a table such as myself. The 65 inch right here, let's get this unboxed. Black pin. Life is good. Oh, we got? Okay. We got some screws in here. We got the four screws. Warranty card. What's this? Some kind of sticker? Something? Owner's manual stand. Yep. Couple screws there. Pretty simple stuff. Nothing too complicated there. All oh, the back plates. Yes, this is what I really wanted. This looks like you get uh, the wire management and the back plate and the top plate for the mount. back plate for where the mount is supposed to go so I'll cover that up nicely and then this is the large 
bottom piece to cover up the wires. Cool. And then the feet are here, 65. Solid construction, metal that goes like this. Yep, boom, it's like that. So that's the length of it. Sick. Run your wires in the back if you want. Awesome. All right, guys, let's go look at the TV. Let's get it. The TV on the table, and then look at this clean back. All oh, that sheen metal, brushed metal in the back. This is where the feet are going to go, right on the edge, which I like, perfect. That's clean. That's where the uh, no-gap wall mount goes, which we won't use, so we're going to cover that up. LG OLED. Power cord here, attached. And this is where we're going to route all of our cables. Boom. Yeah, antenna for the uh, ATSC 3.0 LAN. Deposit there, G Sync NVIDIA, four 2.1 HDMI inputs, digital optical out, audio out. If you want to hook up uh, headphones or subwoofer. On the side is your USB in, higher blaster. And then we don't use this top one, no, nothing. Sweet. This was manufactured in March 2020. Oh yes. Ah, that's a sweet looking TV in the back. I like that. As soon as we get those uh as soon as we get those covers on, it's gonna look real good. Alright guys, I'm gonna put this on the tripod here and then uh, let's start uh, getting those feet on. Alright guys, so we're gonna put the stand and the feet on first. Nice you have the little rubber little pegs in the bottom of the feet that's good for the table there so apparently these little stickers um, I think they go on on the TV let's try it I don't know what for but they're supposed to go apparently I'm not sure why I gotta put this on but I'm gonna try to put it on anyway Okay, sticker is on. Alright, I don't know why, but sticker's there. I guess to protect the TV from this. Who knows? Alright, so we'll put on the first one. Looks like all you do is you just kind of hook it in there. Just like that, pretty simple. And then you take off this... Uh, wire cover and then put a couple screws in all right guys there's the two screws right here one two just screw those in, just hand tight, don't have to force it. And then on the other one, same thing, just put the cover over it. So there's the feet, boom, boom. Now I'm just gonna measure it, measure from foot to foot, and then I'm gonna go fix my table now. All right, be right back. All right guys, so this is the back of my table here, my computer, computer desk. As you can see, I have a center speaker here. That's for my Dolby Atmos surround sound system here. So. It's nice to not have to have a lot of bulk back here for the TV stand. So it makes 100% sense for me to get a stand or, or a TV with legs that go on the side here. So that's gonna be perfect for my table. That way it elevates the TV just floating above the center speaker. And then I have all this extra space here and here for the next gen consoles to sit. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's get this TV on there. All right guys, so I have both the feet on, safe and secure here. 
power cord is here, we'll move that later. Now let's get the plate on to cover that uh, no gap wall mount that we're not going to use. So this nice piece right here came with the cable top package. See like there's an up or down. Let me double check. Yep, there it is. So there's a little, there's these four grooves on top here that slide into the four grooves here. fingerprints. I don't want to see any fingerprints on here down the road. That's why you definitely want to do gloves because you'll get your fingerprints on here easily. All right guys, so everything else, we're going to get it on the stand and run the wires in and put that other cover on top here from the power cable through one of the feet here. All right guys, let's do it. Alright guys, we have it on the table. It's absolutely beautiful. It, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted for the, the feet on the bottom to fit on my stand. I got the center speaker right under the TV with minimal, minimal gap. Just enough to turn the TV on with the finger the power button down. It's just absolutely perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Plenty of space in the side for devices. Beautiful guys. The back of it, clean. It's going to be nice and flat. Once I get the wires tucked in, it's going to look real good. LG OLED. This is awesome. These are the standard four holes here. You don't have to use your own mount. Standard configuration. No gap is up there, all nice and covered. You got some air vents on top with speakers, I'm pretty sure of. Maybe, maybe not. Air vents on the top, and then vents on the bottom for your speaker system. Beautiful guys. This is the power cord here. I'm just gonna run this straight down. Nice guys, you got this nice uh, wire maintenance right here with multiple ports for your wires to clamp. size gaps for different quality of wire that's just beautiful fantastic job LG I like that a lot that is great a lot of times they give you the same sizes and you're like well, what am I supposed to do with this thick wire <laughs> that's great all right so that's good boom that, that. Stays. Good. 
All right, guys, so here it is. This is the fully uh, assembled back panel of the uh, GX. The wire maintenance in the back. Uh, you wouldn't have to worry about this if you're wall mounted, of course, but a small minority like me, yes, it's nice to have. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna put things back together here, get some zip ties, clean this up, put the couch back, and I'll bring you in front and we'll turn it on for the first time, go through the setup. And fingers crossed that the panel is good, uniformity is good, no kind of uh, banding at all, and then I will be completely at ease. Grab that little lip there and proceed to pull the veil off the TV. Oh, I can smell this, the newness of this panel. Ooh. Please be a good panel. Please be a good panel. Okay. Infinite black. Let me check the focus. Looking good, okay, good. Oh man. Oh, this looks so nice on this stand. It's perfect. It's absolutely exactly what I wanted. Oh boy, oh boy, how we looking? We're looking, we're looking good, we're looking good. This gray screen is infamous. Press the OK button, wheel, on your remote. Okay, nothing immediately jumps out. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Language and location settings. Confirm your locate next button, deactivated. Use this TV as a store mode. Time zone, on Ch Chicago, on Ch next button. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Do you want to keep new? Uh, no. All right, so we are Ethernet connected and HDMI 2 ARC connected. Very good. Yeah, you want to? Yeah, I agree to all. I, I don't have time for that. Fine, agree. Analyzing user environment. The only thing I can see is maybe a little, little bit right here. Just a smidge, that's it. Everything else is clean. Just right here is all I notice. But it's not bad at all. That'll go away after a few hundred hours, of course. Uh, paired devices, nope, I don't have any paired devices. Uh, we have antenna. Was there an antenna and internet? Nope, just antenna. Next. So we definitely want to turn on AI Picture Pro, which is brand new for this year. And then uh, the AI Pro Sound, which is also new. Watch the difference in his face. Analyze his face, clean it up. A little bit of sharpness there, a little more detail. I like it. And of course the audio is awesome when you turn that on. This completely covers the whole room with that audio. Fantastic. Uh, channel tuning, very important. We have an antenna hooked up. Let's scan some channels. Content services with AG, uh, LG AI TV. Uh, is Sling gonna work? What? Sling TV's working? Oh, hell yeah! Now guys, when I had my 55CX and the 65CX, it did not go through this spot. The GX has sling built in out of the box. This is awesome. Oh, another upgraded feature of the GX. I love this. Oh, nice. All right, let me sign in here. This is great. Oh, I love it, sling. All right, there's sling. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, first time I used Sling on the LG OLED. This is great. So that's, that's freaking amazing. All right, what's next? All right, let's back out of here. And there's our TV. Sweet. 
insurance company. I don't even know how many millions of dollars. So back to slang, cool. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. So live TV is here. So it has Sling TV as an icon. That's cool. That's new. And then live TV here. And there's Kravitz, which you get copyrighted for. We don't want none of that. Channel four. Awesome. Dr. Phil's on. Cool. Picture looks great. Oh, great. I'm going to tweak it out, of course. Got to do my, my settings. So that'll take a little bit of time. Uh, what else? Let's go into the... The gear icon, we wanna check out. Okay, first thing you wanna do guys, energy saving is off. Turn that off immediately. We don't want no dimming of the panel. OLED screen saver. Logo luminance on high. Just another preventative maintenance for eliminating screen burn. All right, I gotta adjust my antenna. That's not good. We'll get that fixed, uh, let's see. Sound, right now we got internal. We can change that to arc later on. Channels, we already did that. Connection, uh, the device settings, that's gonna be your um, your arc to turn on your receiver and all that good stuff. Auto detections, when you plug in a device, it'll automatically know what it is. AI service, definitely wanna enable these because that's the benefits of the uh, Alpha, Alpha 9 uh, processor. AI acoustic tuning, uh, let's go standard. Uh, what else we got? Voice recognition, now this is where, oh, sports alert, oh my gosh. So, okay, so AI recommended, this is the voice stuff. So who, what, where, when you, when you say, when you, when you say LG, who is that? It'll tell you who's on the TV, content record, network-based person, that's awesome, I love that stuff. Sports alert, this is when you pick your teams to get that sports alert uh, on the TV screen of, of when, they're, when they're playing. So service is temporarily unavailable, which I understand because there's no sports right now. So we'll have to do that later. Okay, that's fine. There's no sports to look at anyway. Uh, let's try to get another channel because we don't want this uh, nasty pixelization because the antennas needs to be adjusted. Uh, okay, what else? Let's go back to gear again. Okay, eye comfort mode is to uh, reduce blue, the blue uh, tint in the screen, so it's less strain on your eyes. Filmmaker mode, we definitely want to turn that on when we're watching awesome uh, video movie content. It'll switch to filmmaker mode, that's great. Um, All right guys, just one more thing again. Um, make sure you go to picture setting, aspect ratio, select original and then also just scan on. That way you're always gonna get the full picture of any device you use, the full screen, no cutting off anything. All right, see ya. Connection, uh, the device settings, that's gonna be your um, your arc to turn on your receiver and all that good stuff. Auto detections, when you plug in a device, it'll automatically know what it is. AI service, definitely wanna enable these because that's the benefits of the uh, Alpha, Alpha 9 uh, processor. AI acoustic tuning, uh, let's go standard. Uh, what else we got? Voice recognition, now this is where, oh, sports alert, oh my gosh. So, okay, so AI recommended, this is the voice stuff. So who, what, where, when you, when you say, when you, when you say LG, who is that? It'll tell you who's on the TV, content record, network-based person, that's awesome, I love that stuff. Sports alert, this is when you pick your teams to get that sports alert uh, on the TV screen of, of when, they're, when they're playing. So service is temporarily unavailable, which I understand because there's no sports right now. So we'll have to do that later. Okay, that's fine. There's no sports to look at anyway. Uh, let's try to get another channel because we don't want this uh, nasty pixelization because the antennas needs to be adjusted. Uh, okay, what else? Let's go back to gear again. Okay, eye comfort mode is to uh, reduce blue, the blue uh, tint in the screen, so it's less strain on your eyes. Filmmaker mode, we definitely want to turn that on when we're watching 
awesome uh, video movie content. It'll switch to filmmaker mode. That's great. Um, connection, device. Oh, that's good. Where was the AI service? Okay, so we want voice recognition, but first we want to change the channel again because we don't have good reception on that channel. Channel five, you got good reception? Okay, you got good reception, good. We'll leave it there. We'll turn down the voice just to make sure there's no copyright garbage going on. And okay. Well, right away, I mean, obviously we're gonna go to um, uh, bright cine uh, ISF mode. So we'll just, we'll just get that out of the way right now. Um, general uh, AI service. Um, yep, turn that all on. Yep, and make sure that's all on, good. Here we go, here we go. All right, voice recognition settings. The voice recognition feature and its service may change, but this is what we want. This is why we get the GX, we want this voice. So voice response is on, voice search, okay. Hands free, this is the GX feature right here. And we'll come back and log into Google later. Train your only LG ThinQ voice recognition feature supported by hands free voice control, enabled. Train your voice, nice, let's go. Hi, LG. Hi, LG. Hi, LG. Hi, LG. Hi, LG. Sweet. Hi, LG. Change to channel four. Okay, I'll go to channel four. What's fun? I've picked out content that may interest you. I hope you like what I've found. Oh, sweet. That's cool. So uh, after a while, I'll probably start learning what I like to watch and it'll show me that kind of stuff. Hi, LG. What's the weather today? Here's the weather for Minneapolis. Minneapolis will be cloudy today. Clouds expected to cover 90% today. Oh, sweet. Hi, LG. Hi, LG. What's on TV tonight? Program starts at tonight. Please set up a viewing schedule. Hi LG. Change to channel 23. Okay, I'll go to channel 23. It's fantastic. I love this voice. So I can get Google integrated into this as well. So if uh, the the ThinQ AI doesn't know what what to to give an answer to then Google will take over and then continue from there. And I'll do Alexa later, but this has Alexa and Google Assistant. This is awesome. All right, so that's huge. I like that a lot. Otherwise, uh, I think we are good, guys. Um, you know, of course, the uh, Think UAI here, you can adjust and change and move things around and all that good stuff. It's really great. I go through this on my 55 and 65 inch unboxing videos. Uh, but this has all the apps you want, guys. This is uh, pretty dang cool. Uh, this is the home dashboard here. This is where you connect your mobile device. This is where you uh, add, you know, IoT devices. Check and control home devices on a mobile with ThinkUI. Okay. So yeah, all kinds of stuff here, guys. This is really, really great. Uh, for gaming, you definitely want to enable the... Uh, um, I'll have to do this later. Wait, um, this is good stuff. I gotta go through this. This will be game mode for me. Power saving mode, I don't have a hard drive. 
hooked up, but if I did, might as well use that. Um, it's going to be additional settings, um, HDMI deep color. You want to make sure that's on. Look at that. It's not even turned on right away. Click that bad boy on. And then you want to back up and do the uh, instant game response. And that's already on, so that's good. All right, everything looks pretty good. Uh, well, yeah, last thing is if you want to uh, take advantage of the full chroma color of 444. Hey guys, just before I sign off, um, the auto, the allow automatic updates was not checked. So you want to check that on. So it gives you a prompt to update your TV. But since I did that and did a check, there is a new software update uh, 3.0045 up from 30013. So I'm going to do that now. So that's really great. So definitely make sure, guys, you always update, update your TV to make it even better. I'm not sure what this update's all about, but um, I really enjoy having the newest, right? All right, guys, thanks again. And with that, I can even move the TV closer. Closer to the, my center speaker. Look at that. It is literally like a couple centimeters away floating above my center speaker. That is perfect. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this TV. Look at this. Look at that. Now that's pretty, that's still pretty damn thin. It's still pretty thin for a TV. 20 millimeters. Still gorgeous, guys. Still gorgeous. Great wire maintenance, wire management. It's perfect. Love it. I love it. All right, guys. Oh, thank goodness, guys. So, good panel. Everything works out, looks great. I love the voice control. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Picture is amazing. The stand is amazing. I love the way this looks. It sounds better. I'm set, guys. This is a fantastic TV. Go ahead and get the CX. If you guys don't have an OLED, go with the CX. Get the best that LG offers. If you have a C9, you're good, right? You got all the features you need for gaming, and you get the 2.1, and you got an amazing picture and panel. Uh, C9, you're great, but CX is the king. Remember, 2020, best gaming TV possible. LG OLED, best TV for gaming, bar none. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share. I appreciate everybody, Raft Cave Club members. Love you all. Thanks for sticking with me and for defending the Raft Cave Club. All right, guys, you have a great day. Home theater rules. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Raft out, see ya.